Romosozumab, also known as Avenity, is a medication used to treat osteoporosis in postmenopausal women who are at high risk of fractures. It works by increasing bone density and strength, ultimately decreasing the risk of fractures. The recommended dosage is 210 mg per 2.34 mL, 105 mg 1.17 x2, administered as a subcutaneous injection once a month. The optimal time to take this medication is determined by your healthcare provider. Before starting Romosozumab, make sure to read the medication guide provided by your pharmacist. Your doctor will give you specific instructions on how to use this medication, usually once a month. It's important to use this regularly, even if you feel well, as most people with osteoporosis do not have symptoms. To remind yourself, mark your calendar with a reminder. According to the manufacturer, it is recommended not to use this drug for longer than 12 months. If you experience joint pain while using Avenity, it's important to notify your doctor or pharmacist. Your doctor has prescribed this medication because they believe the benefits outweigh the risks. Most people using Avenity do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to contact your doctor immediately if you notice any signs of low calcium levels in the blood, such as muscle spasms or numbness slash tingling in the hands and feet, or if you experience new or unusual hip slash thigh slash groin pain. While a serious allergic reaction to Avenity is rare, seek medical help immediately if you experience symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. If you notice any other effects not listed here, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist. If you're in the US, you can report side effects to the FDA, and in Canada, you can report them to Health Canada. This medication has the potential to increase the risk of a heart attack, stroke, or sudden death, although this is rare. It is important to inform your doctor if you have had a heart attack or stroke within the past year before starting treatment with Romosozumab. If you experience symptoms of a heart attack, such as chest slash jaw slash left arm pain, shortness of breath, unusual sweating, or signs of a stroke, such as weakness on one side of the body, trouble speaking, sudden vision changes, confusion, seek medical help immediately. Before starting Romosozumab, it's important to discuss any allergies you may have with your doctor or pharmacist. They may contain inactive ingredients which can cause allergic reactions. Also, make sure to inform them about any medical history, especially related to low calcium levels, heart problems, stroke, or kidney disease. It's important to note that some people using Romosozumab may experience serious jawbone problems. Your doctor should check your mouth before starting the medication, and it's important to inform your dentist before any dental work. Regular dental exams are also recommended to prevent jawbone problems. If you experience jaw pain, be sure to inform your doctor and dentist right away. If you have surgery planned, especially dental procedures, it's important to inform your doctor and dentist about all the medications you are using. They may advise you to stop using Romosozumab before your surgery, so be sure to ask for specific instructions. It's also important to note that this medication is not typically used by women of childbearing age and is unlikely to be used during pregnancy or breastfeeding. If you have any questions about the medication in relation to pregnancy or breastfeeding, consult your doctor for further guidance. When taking Avenity 210 mg per 2.34 mL, 105 mg 1.17 x2 subcutaneous syringe osteoporosis agents, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could impact its effectiveness or lead to unwanted side effects. Be sure to keep a record of all the medications, including prescription and over-the-counter drugs, as well as any herbal products that you are using, and share this list with your healthcare provider. It's essential to follow your doctor's guidance and not make any changes to your medication regimen without their approval. This will help to ensure the safe and effective use of Avenity. If someone has taken too much of Avenity and is experiencing severe symptoms like losing consciousness or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call the local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with others. While using Avenity, it's important to have regular lab and medical tests to monitor your blood calcium level and bone density. Be sure to keep all of your medical and lab appointments.
In addition to taking Avenity, it's also important to make lifestyle changes that promote healthy bones. This can include increasing weight-bearing exercise, quitting smoking, limiting alcohol consumption, and eating well-balanced meals that contain adequate calcium and vitamin D. You may also need to take calcium and vitamin D supplements. It's best to consult your doctor for specific advice on how to do this. Remember, taking Avenity and making these lifestyle changes can help support your bone health and manage osteoporosis. Be sure to take your medication as directed and follow your doctor's recommendations for the best results. Be sure to take your Avenity medication exactly as directed by your healthcare provider. If you happen to miss a dose, consult with your doctor or pharmacist to determine the best course of action for resuming your dosing schedule. This medication is not meant to be taken at home and will be administered by a healthcare professional in a clinical setting. It is not intended for self-administration. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the U.S., you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.